In 2024, the campaign playbook sometimes looks like this. I can see. Donald Trump working the fry cooker at a Pennsylvania McDonald's, part of a strategy to reach out to non-traditional groups of Americans. In Hamtramck, Michigan, an endorsement from the Muslim American mayor there. The president and his campaign, uh, they uh, came to me here to my office. Uh, they visited me multiple times. This happens uh, while we were very disappointed uh, uh, about the uh, foreign policy of the current administration. The Biden-Harris administration's support for Israel's war in Gaza, prompting others to say they'll sit this one out. A prospect that could mean Harris loses Michigan as she ups her outreach to Arab American voters there. Donald Trump's weekend ramblings, though, brought new questions about his mental fitness for office, with his focus on the late golfer Arnold Palmer's genitalia. When he took showers with the other pros, they came out of there, they said, oh my God, that's unbelievable. <laughs> His supporters called on to defend Trump and his closing message. Put the rhetoric aside, look at the record of these two candidates. This shouldn't be about personalities, it should be about policy. With polls showing weakening support from black voters, Kamala Harris spending her weekend in Michigan and Georgia, including speaking to predominantly black churches to try to shore up support. Some helping her celebrate her 60th birthday as she focuses on her opponent's older age and previous statements from his campaign about an exhausted Donald Trump. If you are exhausted on the campaign trail, it raises real questions about whether you are fit for the toughest job in the world. Just a little more than two weeks until Election Day, and we are starting to see record turnout for early voting, including in the battleground states of North Carolina and Georgia. Nationwide, about 14 million ballots have already been cast. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.